Hey folks, JP here. <laughs> AC compressor would go on. Hey folks, JP here. It is Monday, October 12th, 2020. We are in, uh, I think, River Ridge or Harahan. I always get them confused. Look what we got a shed. I've removed these out of several sheds just like this. They got these little square openings on the sides, and the bees they uh, go in through these little openings and uh, they make them the hive in the floor. We're going to go ahead and cut the floor open today, invert the, the uh, OSB is what it is, and then uh, remove a hive. We'll set the bees up and we'll either take them away tonight and we'll leave them here for a day or two and then pick them up and, and get them on out of here. One of the neighbors is complaining, maybe the grass cutter guy. You know, he, I mean, the, the other day I came by and you know, the bees were very gentle. There's some ground cover uh, right up against the, the opening that they're using to get in the floor. And I just kind of kicked the, the, the ground cover out of the way. And, I mean, they can care less. So let me show you their entrance and we're going to get started with this. Hope you enjoy the video. So far, the bees have been very nice, but you know, we're about to open the floor up. Let's give them some smoke and hopefully they stay calm. You can see there's a lot of activity in that main section, but we got bees going in three different openings. This main one in the middle, one on the right, and this one on the left. Yeah. I'm gonna smoke the back side too. This is just to keep, uh, keep them honest, but I think we're gonna be fine with these bees. <laughs> they seem pretty chill. And this is the way we're working today. We're gonna open up a big section of this OSB. Oriented strand board. It's a type of engineered wood similar to particle board created in 1963 in courtesy of Wikipedia. Our hive is underneath this floor, folks, so we're going to have to open a large section of the floor to expose the hive. This is the Flare E4 Thermal Imager. I use this tool to locate beehives. It's going to depict heat that the bees are putting off. It may not necessarily tell you exactly how large the hive is. It's going to depict areas that bees are covering. For example, you might have six feet of comb, and if bees are only covering two feet of that, when you open up your void space, you're going to be in for a surprise that you have all this comb, even though the device is telling you have a two-foot area. You could go in and take a reading, and you could see a much smaller area being depicted by the bees, but have a lot more comb. So there is a learning curve when using this device. All right, let's go ahead and tackle this thing folks all right folks we're at the point where all the screws are out all my cuts are made we're gonna lift this piece of OSB and expose the hive. Looks like the hive's just in one spot, at least comb-wise, okay? Even though they're entering three different little uh, entrance holes on the exterior. So, this is the deal. Uh, we'll pretty much have to do it this way. I'm gonna grab this piece of OSB and try to flip it. Uh, it's probably not gonna be textbook pretty, okay? <laughs> We're gonna have some combs that probably fall down onto the I don't know what's underneath here, if it's dirt or concrete. But some of them may wind up on the ground or the concrete or whatever. And some of them uh, hopefully will stay attached to the OSB. It could be, get a little messy, I don't know. Sometimes when you do one like this, you flip it over and there's just a crap load of bees on the plywood and you watch them group up and they start running. And sometimes you get lucky and the queen's in that mix. So hopefully we can flip this thing over without a lot of honey dripping and without any you know, casualties and uh, things go as smooth as, smoothly as they possibly can on something like this. You know, without further ado, let's go ahead and tackle this thing. And then I'm gonna try to flip it over. Try. I think it's gonna have some weight to it. Let's see what we can do. See a comb right here. Thing. 
folks this is Glenn and uh well there's a lot of bees still swarming around us come, come take a look and tell me what you think oh wow that's some home man yeah. you can get a little closer no I can't why not because the bees don't want I took to. a few stings for you yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right well, I'm gonna show you the queen let me go in here and get the queen it's a miracle all that held together that's your queen in there see how back ends longer yeah. can you tell yeah, yeah. Yeah, now, that could be another one even, because yeah. that's a big hive and there's a lot of bees. <laughs> yeah, just hold your breath and just walk away. But it got a little aggravated when I picked that up. We good, we good. All right, let's get it done.
you see these peanut looking things right here? These are queen cups. They were at one time on their way to becoming queen cells. These bees either replaced the queen or they swarmed at some time. See that big hole in the center of the comb? That's usually indicative of an area that had queen cells before. A lot of times they'll remove the queen cells. You'll be left with those big holes like that in the comb section. That's what that's about. comb off the OSB that we picked up. We have six frames of brood framed up. This is what's left. Good bit of bees. I'm just catching my breath right now because it's been a marathon since I started this thing. <laughs> This is where we're at. All the combs out, the floor inside. You see, we got a bunch of bees on the outside. I did give them some smoke on the inside and some repellent. And because it's so hot, it's like 90 degrees, a lot of bees are in the box, but a lot of them are still clustered on the outside. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave the box right here and uh, should be able to put them on the truck tomorrow. It's just about dark, not worn out. But we got a good bit of brood framed up. We got our queen, got our queen early. <laughs> That was fantastic. Part two, which won't be much of a part two, but it'll just be a little icing on the cake. We should be able to put them in the truck, take them away tomorrow night. So that's it for now. Bye, girls. All right, let's go check on the bees. It's the following day. It's like, I don't know, 2.30 in the evening. I'll be back later to pick them up if everything goes according to plan. It should. See if they've uh, moved into the box. First thing we'll do, we'll just go right into the shed. Okay, let's see what we got. Nothing like when I left last night. We still have some bees, but the majority of them are in the uh, box outside, I'm sure. I'll probably maybe spray a little repellent or something just to uh, give them a little push. We want to come back tonight. We don't want any bees on the floor of this shed still. We want to pick the girls up, all of them. Now right, let's go around here and see what things are looking like. All right. Pretty good, looking pretty good. So yeah. Alright, let's see. Majority of the bees are in the box. And they're getting on. We've got bees coming. There's one with pollen I just saw. So they've already made this box in new home folks. Looking real good. Alright, I'll be back later to pick them up. Alright folks. We're gonna uh, pick up the bees tonight. I've had a few questions about how do you proceed 
in um, actually transferring the bees from one location to another. And we'll go ahead and give the, the bees some smoke and run them in the box. I'll just pick the box up, you know, put it in the back of the truck. There's no need to, to seal the uh, the entrance or anything like that because I'm moving them in a, at night. Obviously, if you're going to make stops and uh, you're going to be in a lighted area, if you got a bunch of hives, you'll need to find a dark spot to park in. Or if you know you're going to be somewhere where it's going to be lit up, then you'll have to seal the openings. And you could use screen. You know, there's a bunch of things you can use, but you just want to make sure if it's warm out that uh, you know the hive's ventilated. Got my my little hat on. I got a little red light I'll use and. Uh, you know, when you turn a, a white light on, the bees will cover that white light after a little bit. So the red light spectrum, bees go to the least. That's why you see me using a red light a lot of times when I'm filming in a dark room or something like that. It's so that the bees don't cover the light and cover my face. So let's go ahead and uh, put the girls on the truck. All right, folks. We do have a little clump of bees. So we're gonna have to deal with them. We're gonna have to smoke them and uh, see if we can run them into our box. So see how the bees are covering the phone now? We got the light on from the phone. I'm filming with the iPhone, the 8 Plus. So I'm gonna shut that off and see if we can't run the bees into our setup. All right, the bees are now been placed in the truck. See them? I had to smoke them a little bit because uh. It's just so hot, and they just don't respond as well to smoke when it's really hot, folks. So let's bring them to their next destination, folks. Let me mention one other thing. Uh, if your bees are really aggressive, okay, if you know it's a hot hive and you need to relocate them, you might want to consider closing up their entrance. Now, if it's really, really hot out, you might want to use a, a different top, maybe seal the entrance and use a screen top. In general, you know, bees, when you move them, even the nicest colonies, I have seen them get a little unruly. And when you get to, to, to your destination, you go in the back of the truck and you see that the bees are runny. If they're all over the place, like ants, they're sharpening in their stingers, folks. I guarantee you, they're, they're going to probably light you up. So what you do is smoke them a little bit and kind of walk away and then come back a few minutes later, see if they've run into the box. But when they're running around like that, okay, when they're spread out and kind of runny, they're going to get you. So smoke them first, let them settle down, and then put them in your apiary, okay? I sure hope y'all enjoyed this video. Another one from JP the Bee Man. I hope y'all having a fantastic day, night, whatever, because you know I am. Until the next one, appreciate you. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and release our queen. Uh, there she is. All right. <sighs> See how they're covering her, folks? Uh, let's get her off there. I'll show you what she looks like in a minute. And we are inspecting the hive, folks, with the GoPro Hero 7. Hey, hey, courtesy of Yappy B Man. Thank you, Yappy. Love you, brother. I'm enjoying this new toy, no doubt. I normally release the queen at the entrance, but uh, just because we're filming and all here, I'm gonna go ahead and just release her right on top. And hopefully, you can see her being released. I can't show you the queen, folks. Come on, she's at the top. Right oh, there she is. She wasn't a real big queen, but she is our queen. Let's go ahead and uh, release her. Okay. Let's go ahead and put her in. All right, here we go. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and open the catcher and just kind of let it run in. See if we can get that. Oh, she comes. Yep. Oh, that was quick. Oh, that was quick. So just shake the catcher. And let's put the top back on. And that'll do it for now. Let's see if we can't uh, spot Queenie. Oh. Uh, let's see here. Could she be? There she is. Right there, folks.
I don't have a flashlight, so I, you know, I can't really see well enough to see if she's laid any eggs yet. But actually, I do believe I think I see some. Let's do a little close up, and maybe we'll be able to see eggs once we um, put it up on the computer. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to capture any eggs with the GoPro, but here are some eggs from another colony in case you're wondering what they look like. I think I'm seeing them though. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, she laid a ton of them. What'd she get? Boy, she's shy. <laughs> she moved around on the back side already. Let's uh, bring this around. See if we can't film her again. There she is. Oh, she's right in. It's on that bottom. <laughs> Pretty little caramel gal. Oh, well, she's moving, huh? All right, well, let's let's put them back in. All right, seen enough. Seen enough. They're they're happy, and she's laying. I'm pretty certain I did see eggs. All right, so let's put this back. All right, let's put this back on. All right, they're looking good. Looking good. Okay. Hope y'all enjoyed that little inspection, folks.